Okay. So, I made my fall garland, um, which I'll show you. And I wanted to make a pumpkin that would sit next to it in the bedroom. So, what I'm going to do is cover this Dollar Tree pumpkin in the same Dollar Tree book pages. See, I've been using that a lot. Anyway, um, and then on a video I saw somebody used these eyes on they use it on a baseball and I, I don't know I thought it might it might be cool I don't know creepy and cool so we'll see what happens so I got these off of graphicsfairy.com and I'm just going to cut this border off and I don't know that I'll use more than one eye, but I thought I might as well print off a bunch just in case. I want to use a bunch. All right. So then I thought I'd just glue it on, and then I would glue paper pages around it. All right. You know, that might be kind of... That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. It'd be different anyway. So we'll see what happens. Um, okay. I think I'm going to try just using my handy dandy trusty Elmer's glue. kind of cool. Okay, so let's do some papers. Okay, so these turned out so cute. Look. Look how flippin' cute that is. I love this. I just did eyes on either side. Love it, love it, love it. Um, again, these were the dollar store pumpkins, the orange ones, and they do bleed through. So this is, I did the first layer of book pages, then I sealed it because it was bleeding through, the orange was. And then I did a second layer. And this is the second layer. It looks really good. And so I did another one because it looks so cute. And I was going to use this stencil. Look how cute that is. I got that on Amazon. Um, but I'm just too nervous to use it on this surface. I just don't think it's going to turn out. No matter how hard, hard I try. So, I do want words on it though. So, I have these rub on transfers these pieces that I cut out of my brocante IOD book look how cute oh they're so cute okay so I'm just gonna try them anywhere
Okay, I think it's done. Oh, that's pretty flippin' cute. Pretty flippin' cute. Okay, now we're just going to glue in our little stems that I saved from other Dollar Tree pumpkins that I was finished with. And then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Burp. Okay. So there's one. Look how flipping cute that is. All right. Now we'll just do the next one, the last one, the second one. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. All right, and these are gonna go in my bedroom to go with my garland and wreaths on the bed. Adorable. Okay. Okay, so you guys have seen this before, but I thought I would just run it by you again. These are the leaves I picked up at, oh, Dollarama or Dollar Tree, can't remember which. Anyway, one of the dollar stores. They were gold. I'll show you what they look like. And I'm just going to do our rust on them. We're going to make a garland. I do love garlands. <laughs> so we're going to make a rust, rusty leaf garland with some other doodads. And we'll see how it turns out. So I painted the leaves black, gold. Um, just I, I don't know. I just wanted to have a bit of the gold showing through. And if that doesn't work out, that's okay. So let's see if any of the gold shows through. Yeah, it really doesn't. But that's okay. That's all right. Oh, that's better. <laughs> that's better. Like it? Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so I got this idea while watching some YouTube videos. Um, these are a bunch of the leaves that I cut out for my garland in the bedroom. Um, I have these are the ones that are left. So I thought I might make some some picks, so to speak, and attach them to the garland in the bedroom and you know so the leaves would be going all over every every direction so let's see how it works out so I thought I would just 
hot glue them to the back here. There. You know, I could even attach two leaves. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's cute. What do you think? I think that'll be fun. And this way, if they flip-flop around, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then I, I don't think we need all this wire. So let's just cut that. Cut that way down. And there's our first pick. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep making these and then we'll put them on the garland. Okay. And here is my fall garland in the bedroom, all dressed up for Halloween. Love, love, love. Sorry to those of you that are a little creeped out by spiders. I am not. <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> I think it turned out so cool. I obviously love the colors. Well, obviously to me. They're my colors. And I have a thing for book pages and spiders and rusty stuff. And I think these turned out so cool. So cool. So easy. The whole thing was so flippin' easy. And I love it. I think it just really really goes with my bedroom. Really goes well with my bedroom. Look at how cute. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, there we go. Beep. Okay, hi everybody. Okay. <clears throat> what I thought I would do today is just give you a couple of you know tips that I that I use. I'm sorry. I picked up this skull at Dollarama for four bucks, um, and you you can see it's you know obviously obviously cheap plastic. Um, not a lot of attention to detail, and I. I when I put skulls and bones in my decorations, I kind of like them to look very, very similar um, and not, you know, like they came out of the dollar store. So, what I do, I'm going to show you what I do, and it's so easy. Um, I paint them all the same, or very similar anyway. So, what I'm going to do is just give this guy a couple of... Or maybe just one, it looks like. No, two. Uh, a couple coats of sloppy white paint. Because it doesn't have to be meticulous because we're going to go over it with with black. Um, and do some better shadowing, some better contouring, you know, all that kind of stuff. We're just going to make it look look a little better. And, like I said, um, if you have more than one of these skulls and bones and whatnot in your house, and they come from different places, they will guarantee look different. Very, very different. Like, you know, this is obviously a dollar store. Now, I know ones that come from, from other stores, even though they're discount stores, like um, HomeSense, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they'll look better they'll still be very very different so if they look very very different I give them all a coat or two of white paint and then I do some like I said black detail work and that gets them all on the same page so to speak they all start looking uh, similar and less way less cheap
Okay, now, this is dried enough, I think, I hope, that we can do a little work on it. So I put the second coat on, and you see it's just another sloppy coat. And now we're going to work a bit on the black. So I'm going to, well, let's see, let's use a smaller brush here. Just gonna fill this in, not worrying about how neat it is. Okay, so this is just another thing that I do, or pretty much the same thing I do, um, as, the, as the skulls and bones. When I get something, I got this at the dollar store. I think it's so cool. It was four twenty-five. Yeah, a dollarama. Okay, but you see how? Look at that. I, the, the glue, I guess. Well, it has to be the glue. And the red eyes and it just looks plasticky so I'm just going to do a sloppy coat of black paint on it and there we go and this is so cool it's a heavy plastic it stands up I got two of them unfortunately the other one I didn't notice doesn't stand up well but we'll work with it so I'm just gonna paint this guy quickly and he will look ever so much better okay hang on. And this is just my favorite Dollar Tree Crafter Square paint. I pick it up half a dozen at a time because I go through a lot of it right now, actually. Okay. And you actually don't want to do a, a really complete coat because this, this has some texture. And it'd be nice if that texture shows up a little bit. 
So the difference between the plastic and the paint will hopefully allow some of the texture to still, you know, shine through. And if not, that's okay because the paint will look much, much better than this cheap plastic look. I'd say I hope you can see what I'm doing, but I think you can <laughs> intuitively know what I'm doing without having to actually see it. But I do want to just, you know, share a couple of things I do that I think make such a difference. And, you know, for somebody on a budget like me, and it's, it does, it makes it so much, so much nicer to decorate when you have things that look like they're not from the dollar store. You don't want to do it so sloppily, though, that it looks, you know, like a, like <laughs> a sloppy paint job, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? You want to, you don't want to do it s consistently sloppy. You want to make sure you, you, you vary the direction of the brush, vary the thickness of what you're doing. Um, but you don't have to worry about it a lot. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so I've got my freshly painted bats. Look. Look how cool they look. They just look so much better, I think, anyway. They just don't look like as cheap as plastic. All right, so then I had this idea. I have this old spool of chain. I thought, I don't know, maybe, yeah, a little chain collar. I thought that might be cute. So that's what we're gonna do. So flipping easy. And look, it just so elevates. There, <laughs> look. <laughs> Sorry. Just so elevates, you know, a dollar store item. I just love doing this stuff. I'm gonna show you um, just some of the things that I painted. I, you know, I was thinking about this today. I pretty much paint or change paint and or change uh, everything. I just, I, I just, I guess I just see shapes that I like, like I like the shape of the bat. Didn't like the way it looked, but I knew I could change it, um, and I did. So I pretty much change the look of almost everything, especially from the dollar stores. I mean, you know. All right, let's just try and, I'm just using a little bit of thin black wire, just because I know you won't be able to see it. And we don't want to choke our bat. There. And then we'll just tie a little knot of sorts. And that'll be that. And look how stinking cute. Cute. You know, I just know that I'm not special, you know, looking for a bargain. Um, and I just, there's so many, there's so many easy things you can do to change inexpensive items. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to try and, there we go. Look at how cute. Oh, I think that looks phenomenal. So there we go. There's our bat with the chain. Love it. Okay. Now I want to show you just a few of the things that I have changed the look of. Okay. 
I'll be back. Okay, I just wanted to give you a little sample. So this was, sorry about all the spiders. <laughs> this was a black spider and I just wanted a white spider. So I put on the uh, Black Widow uh, symbol, I guess it is. Um, and yeah, I think it just looks really, really fun. Especially for my black and white and, you know, tan decor. Okay, and then here's another little skeleton. And I've done my, my faux painting all over this little guy. And if you look up in here, I don't know if you can see, but he was like a greenish yellow before. Before I did my little transformation on him. And he's so much happier now, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Um, and then a little dollar store, pumpkins. These actually light up, but we're not going to do that. You no, we're not doing that. Anyway, so I got a couple of these. They were bright orange, of course. But look how stinking cute they are now. Oh my god. Okay, I just want to show you one more thing. This is so easy. You guys must have done this before. This is just hot glue that I dripped down the candles. This is how it started out. Look how cool. Look how cool. These light up too. I don't know if you'll be able to really see. Nope, oh, this guy does. There we go. Look how cute. I just think this looks so much better. Anyway, and it, it takes just a just a short time to do this kind of stuff. And it just turns out so freaking fabulous. Okay, that's my pep talk. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think we're going to make these look a little bit better. I think they're really cool looking spiders, the shape of them, but I don't like all the extra paint on them. I got the set at Dollarama with a spider web. Less than four bucks, whatever it was. Okay, so here's another thing I picked up at Dollarama, Dollar Store. Look how cool. I've already painted it a um, couple coats of white. It has red eyes. I painted over them black. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that feature, but um, now I'm going to do some black on it, do some shading and whatnot, and kind of see if we can't make this look a little spookier. So, um, oh, where should we start? Let's start. Well, let's start with the eyes. So I'm going to just brush on some black and then we're going to dab it off. Okay, I'm going to dab it off with a dry paper towel. And just kind of Try and get rid of any brush strokes, that kind of thing. See, and then we'll just keep building that up, kind of thing. All right, so let's keep going on the other side.
Okay, so now we're back on our skulls and bones. And I had this idea, just to make my skulls and bones a little more interesting, um, stamping some, well, what I think are kind of creepy words on them. So, this really didn't do it for me, so now I'm gonna embellish it just a little bit more. And I'm gonna make it a morgue specimen. We'll see how that looks. So I start in the middle, and we'll see how severely I mess this up. Okay, so then we'll go to the left, and I am just kind of, kind of guessing. But if it doesn't look perfect, I think that's oops. I think that's okay. Okay, not perfect, but I think it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna keep going and just, you know, make up little titles for them. This is another skull that I painted. Um, this one much more subtly because it came uh, in a better color. It was a kind of a gray color. Okay, here's one I just did a number on. So I think we'll do a little bit more on that. I thought we would do something like prisoner or cell number three. I like, let's try prisoner. Okay. Okay, prisoner number three. Well, that looks kind of cute, actually. All right. Hey, eh. cute. Okay. Okay, and we've got our doll head. I thought we might do asylum across. All right. All right. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 